Okay, here we go. Okay, what figure do you see in front of you? What is the name of that figure? Pentagon. It's a pentagon. How many sizes does a pentagon have? Five. Pentagon has five sides. How many triangles do you see drawn in there? Three. Okay. Okay. Three triangles. Oops. I'm not on the right screen. I want to go here. All right. Um, there's your pentagon. What's that called? Hexagon. That's not a stop sign. A stop sign is a different shape, Miss Ella. No, it is not. Count the signs, Ella. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Six sides is called a. Let's not talk about stop signs right now. Let's talk about the name of this thing. Hexagon. When you have six sides of hexagon, how many triangles are drawn in this hexagon? Yep. All right. This has this is not a stop sign. This has how many sides? Seven. Holy smokes. She can't see it that even though she has glasses on, she can't see that seven there. Okay. Seven sides is called seven sides is called a heptagon. H E P T heptagon. Okay. If it has seven sides, it has five triangles. There's your octagon. It's just turned a little bit on you. Eight sides. It's just turned a little bit. Eight sides, octagon. It has how many triangles? Nine is a nonagon. Ten sides is a decagon. Twelve sides is a dodecagon. Okay. So, Mia just shouted out what we're trying to figure out with this. Mia just said, hey, all these shapes have two less triangles than the number of sides. That's what we're going to try to get at. Now. Now, how many degrees, let's, oh, well, I got to go back here again. Sorry, went to the wrong place. Boom, boom. In a triangle, how many degrees are there in a triangle? 180. How many degrees are in a quadrilateral? 360, because there's two triangles, two times 180 is 360. Shh. No, a circle is not a quadrilateral. A circle is not a polygon. Okay, just cease for now. We have three triangles in a pentagon. How many degrees are in a pentagon? Three triangles times 180 is 540. Get out your calculators because you'll need them. No, we're not going all the way up to 14. We're discovering right now. Right. Mia did some great discovery, but she doesn't have a calculator out to help us out right now. Three times 180 is 540. So in a pentagon, there's 540 degrees. Let's jump up to an octagon. Eight sides. So there's six triangles. Six times 180 is? That's 108. That's my bad. 1080. 1080. Six 
times 180 is one. All right. So then let's look at a decagon. Hey, a decagon. 1,440. Okay. So what we've discovered is to find the interior angle sum of any type of polygon. You take the number of sides minus 2 times 180 degrees. Okay? Now that... What? You take the number of sides minus 2 times 180 Okay. So let's look at this little figure. This has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sides. So you take 7 minus 2 times 180, which is 5 times 180, which is 900 degrees. Now, let's even advance this one level. Let's say all these sides and all these angles were congruent. A regular polygon, a regular polygon has all congruent sides and all congruent angles. Now, if all the angles are congruent, how many degrees is each of these angles? No. No. You don't have a calculator, you can't answer this one. Point how do you get that? Okay, Mia says, how do we get that? Good question, Mia. There is 900 degrees in here. There are how many angles? Seven angles. So we divide 900 by seven to get how much each angle is. That's if they are all congruent. Not everything will have all congruent angles. Okay? So... This is a, this is what we just, okay, that's what we just did. Okay, so here is a pentagon. How many degrees are in a pentagon? How many degrees are in a pentagon? Five hundred and forty, because it's five minus two, which is three. Three times 180 is 540. So if we divide 540 by five, we get 108 degrees, okay, for each angle. Yes. We will not do vocab this chapter, no. There, there's a decent number of vocabulary words, but I expect you to just use them and know them. But there's not, there's not enough where we're going to take a vocab quiz because I'm not going to give you a vocab quiz on how many sides is a quadrilateral? How many sides is a parallel, you know, and so on. Okay. A corner cabinet. Will this corner cabinet fit into the corner of a wall? The wall has a 90 degree angle at the back. Does this have a 90 degree angle at the back? It looks like it, but how can we tell? It is the shape of a what? How many sides does it have? <laughs> a five-sided figure is called a? Pentagon. You take 5 minus 2 times 180, and you get 540. Now, these two add up to 270. These two add up to 180. So if you add up 270 and 180, you get 450. What's 540 minus 450? So this is a 90 degree angle. It should fit into the corner of the wall as long as the contractor made a right angle for a corner of a wall. Because I've been in houses where not every angle is a right angle at a corner. All right. This... This sign 
has three 90 degree angles, one there, one there, and one there. What's the measure of the leftover two angles? Okay, wow, that was quick. So, if you have 540 degrees in a pentagon, and you have a 90 and a 90 and a 90, those add up to 270. So if you subtract off the 270, you're left with 270 degrees to be shared by the two angles. If you divide it by two, each of them is 135 degrees. Okay, exterior angles. Here's an octagon. Now, octagon. All right. So, an oct to have an exterior angle, you extend a side. A straight line is how many degrees? 180. So, between this and angle 1 out here, it's 180 degrees. Okay? Now, what's the angle sum of an octagon? 8 minus 2 times 180 is 6 times 180. 1,080. Take that divided by 8 to find what each angle is if it's a regular octagon. 135. So this is 135. Shh. What's 108 minus 135? So each of these are 45. What's 45 times 8 once? 360. Okay, 360. Okay, this we'll imagine is a rectangle with four 90 degree angles. What is each exterior angle? 90. What's 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90? Okay. All right, pentagon adds up to 540, right? So if this is 110 and 110 and 140 and 140, and then that's those add up to 500, right? Yeah, 250, 250 is 500. So let's say this is a 40 degree angle. So to make a straight line, what would this one by the 110 be? 70 and 70. What would the ones by the 140 be? 40 and 40. What would the one by 40 be? Take 40 plus 140, 40 plus 140 plus 40 plus 70 plus 70. 360. No matter what the shape of a convex polygon, what are all the exterior angles always add up to? 360, we discovered that they're always, always, always going to add up to 360 degrees. Okay? Now, that's only for a convex polygon. If you do have a concave, what's a concave polygon? It has an any. Okay? It has an any. Like a belly button. Okay? Most people have any belly buttons, but some people have outy belly buttons, okay? It concave has a cave in it. Have a nice Thanksgiving, Jack. A concave is an any. We're not talking about concave. We're talking about convex. Convex has all outies. If they have all outies, all the exterior angles will always, 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 always add up to 360 degrees. Okay, I'll show you that. We we don't talk about innies. So you know what's going on with innies. But we innies don't add up to 360. They can add up to whatever. Okay. So let's look at this. 
See how I move this around? See how the total never changes from 360 degrees? I can make these various shapes, but this one won't let me make an any. If I would love to make an any, but it won't let me. So look at these. I can make a huge, I can make 10 sides and start pulling them. And no matter what, they always add up to 360 degrees. Okay. All right. Okay, let's look at this. What type of shape is this? Oh my goodness. Five sides, people. We've had this like five times. Pentagon. All right. So it's a pentagon. How big is angle five? How big is angle four? It says up here, angle one is congruent to angle three. Angle one is 3x. Angle two, it says up here, is 2x. How big is angle three? 3x. So 3x plus 2x plus 3x plus 90 plus 90 must add up to? We're on the outside, so it's 360, not 540. So 3x and 2x and 3x make 8x plus 180 equals 360. 8x equals 180. X equals 22.5. So what's 3 times 22.5? Sixty-seven point five. So, the measure of angle one equals sixty-seven point five. The measure of angle two equals two times x, which is what's two times twenty-two point five? Forty-five. What's the measure of angle three? Sixty-seven point five. What's the measure of angle four? What's the measure of angle five? Ninety. Okay, so you'll be finding different measures. What type of shape is this? One, two, three, four, five. Pentagon again. So, are these angles, where are these angles located? Inside. Inside, so what should these add up to? 540, not 360. You got to remember, inside versus outside. No, we're doing more than pentagons. But it just, all my examples, they happen to be pentagons that the book gave me. All right, what's 3x plus 7x? 10x plus 6x. 16x plus 6x. Okay. What's 4 minus 3? 1. What's 1 plus 12? 13. What's 13 plus 90? 103. Minus 3 is? So plus 100 equals 540. So if we subtract 100, 22x equals 440. X equals 20. What's 3 times 20? Plus 4 is? This angle up here is 64. What's 6 times 20? 120 minus 3 is? 117. What's 7 times 20? 140 minus 3. 137 for that angle right up there. What's 6 times 20? 120 plus 12. 132 for that angle right there. And this one is obviously 90. So today, if we're talking about interior angles, it's 180 times N minus 2. If we're talking about exterior angles, they always add up to 360. Okay. You will not 
not not get a formula card for this chapter. You need to memorize facts like this, that exterior angles add up to 360. Interior angles, the sum is 180 times n minus 2. No, there are other stuff that we you know need to know in the chapter. So that's why we'll go slow in this chapter, but we'll need to get this stuff down and remember it. Yes. Yes. Yeah.